ഹായ് എവരി വൺ ഐ എം ജനിയ രാജ് പോഷി എം സി എഫ് മരിയൻ കോളേജ് കുട്ടിക്കാനം ഓട്ടോണോമസ് വിദീം അജിൻ മാത്യു അജീഷ് അഗസ്റ്റിൻ ആൻഡ് മൈ സെൽ ഡൂയിങ് ദിസ് പ്രസന്റേഷൻ അണ്ടർ ദ ഗൈഡൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡോക്ടർ മെൻഡസ് ജേക്കബ് ഡയറക്ടർ പി ജി ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് മരിയൻ കോളേജ് കുട്ടിക്കാനം ഓട്ടോണോമസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ പ്രസന്റിംഗ് ബിഫോർ യു ദ ടോപ്പിക് മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ കോൺഗ്രിയൻഷ്യൽ അൽഗോറിതം and inverse transformation method let's get into our topic multiplication congruential algorithm actually what does it mean it is nothing but multiplication congruential algorithm is a type of linear congruential generator for generating pseudo random numbers in a specific range or we can say it's an another way to generate pseudo random numbers from the uniform distributions by using the multiplicative congruential method random numbers play a key role in sampling from distribution as we all know the random numbers can be generated by electronic devices as zeros and ones by the voltage levels anyway simulation models are executed on the computer by the use of electronic devices to generate random numbers is much too slow for that purpose also electronic devices are activated by laws of chance making it impossible to duplicate the same sequence of random numbers then this is very important because of debugging verification and validation of the simulation model and this can be obtained by duplicating the random numbers sequence the most common arithmetic operation for generating random numbers is the multiplicative congruential method also this involves three integer parameters as u0 b c and m also there is a pseudo random number rn can be generated from the formulas so the integer parameters are u0 b c and m then rn to obtain the un value we have the equation b into u n minus 1 plus c mod m the value of n can be any positive integers like 1 2 3 etc to find out the random number we are representing the random number as rn that is equal to un divided by modulus m is the modulus and here also the value of n can be 1 2 3 etc let's see un is the sequence of pseudo random numbers and the modulus value should always be greater than 0 then b is the multiply for our equation then the un minus 1 is the initial value of the sequences and it varies according to the random numbers we have to find and all these variables should be chosen appropriately to get a period almost equal to the modulus m the only feasible way for generating 0 and 1 that are random numbers for use in simulation is based on arithmetic operation it is simply based upon the basic arithmetic operations such numbers are not truly random because the entire sequence can be generated in advance it is more appropriate to refer to them as pseudo random numbers the initial value u0 is usually referred to as the seed of the generator variations of the multiplicative congruential method which improve the quality of the generator and this law is found in 2007 let's see an example we have the question generate three random numbers based on the multiplicative congruential method we are also given with the values b is equal to 9 c is equal to 5 and m is equal to 12 also 
the c variable u0 is initialized as 11 from the question we are responsible to find out three random numbers by using the multiplicative congruential method so we have the equation to implement multiplicative congruential algorithm and what is that equation the equation is un is equal to b into un minus 1 plus c mod m so let's go through the steps to obtain three random numbers that is r1 r2 r3 before finding r1 r2 r3 we have to find u1 u2 u3 to obtain u1 we are performing b into u n minus 1 plus c mod m in this question the value of b is equal to 9 and u0 is initialized as 11 then the c value is 5 so we are applying 9 into 11 plus 5 that value perform the modulus operation with 12 now we will get the value of u1 as 8 then simply we can find out the r1 value as 8 by 12 that is 0 0.667 now we have now we have found the u1 and first random number r1 now we are going to the second step to find out the second random number r2 before that we have to find u2 and the same equation we are applying here from that equation we will get 9 into 8 plus 5 mod 12 in this step how we will get 8 it is nothing but we are obtaining that 8 from the previous seed variable that is in every step to find out the random numbers the seed variable getting altered so we are considering the previous u, u0 value in this question we have u1 as 8 so we are applying the uh, u2 equation 9 into 8 plus 5 mod 12 now we will get u2 value as 5 so r2 value is 5 by 12 that is 0 0.4167 and till now we obtain two random numbers r1 and r2 by find out the u1 and u2 values now we are supposed to find out u3 also to find out the third random number r3 now the current u0 or the seed variable value of value is 5 by applying all these values to the equation b into u n minus 1 plus c mod m we will get u3 value that is 9 into 5 5 is the u2 value and plus 5 5 is the c value then mod 12 that is equal to 2 then we are find out r3 is equal to 2 by 12 is equal to 0 0.1667 now our problem gets solved we obtain three random numbers r1 r2 r3 by using the multiplicative congruential method suppose we need to find out the fourth random number what we will do we will apply the same equation of multiplicative congruential method by altering the u0 value and that will continue based upon the random numbers we have to find this is all about multiplicative congruential algorithm and the implementation of the same by using the equations we have discussed in the previous slides and here I wind up the session and also hope that you all could understood and 
expecting any clarifications or uh, doubts from you and thank you all for watching this session and the next topic will handle by uh, our teammate aji so thank you Hi good morning friends today we are going to discuss about the topic inverse method the inverse transform sampling is also known as the inverse the inversion sampling or the inverse probability integral transform and it is a basic method for pseudo random number sampling that is for generating a sample numbers at a random from any probability distribution given its cumulative distributive function Here we can see to obtain a random sample x from a continuous or discrete probability density function f of x the inverse method first determine, determines a closed form expression of the cumulative density function for that f of x equal to p of y less than or equal to x where 0 less than or equal to f of x where and f of x less than or equal to 1 for all defined value of y It can be proved that the random variable z is equal to f of x is uniformly distributed in the interval 0 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1. Based on the result, a random sample form f of x is determined using the following step. Here, f raised to minus 1 is known as the inverse of the f. So, the steps for finding the inverse of f is that step 1. generate a 0 to 1 random number that is r and step 2 compute the desired sample x is equal to f inverse of r and the exponential probability density function that is f of t equal to lambda e raised to minus lambda t that is t greater than 0 represent the inter arrival time t at the facility with the mean value of 1 by lambda then the cumulative density function is f of t is equal to integral 0 to t lambda e raised to minus lambda x and d of x equal to 1 minus e raised to minus lambda t where t greater than 0 and setting our random sample number that is equal to f of t we can solve for t as t is equal to minus 1 by lambda inverse of 1 minus r for example we can see that For lambda is equal to four customers per hour and random num- sample number r equal to point nine. The time period until the next arrival occur is that is t one is equal to minus one by four inverse of one ma- minus point nine. That is equal to zero point five seven seven. That means hour is equal to thirty four point five minutes. So importantly note that that inverse of 1 minus r may can be replaced with the inverse of r because 1 minus r is the complement of r so these are the some basic uh, uh, information or basic things related to inverse transformation so thank you